Did you know that according to a 2015 survey by the Transamerica Center for Retirement Studies, a lot of Americans think they need about $1 million saved up to retire comfortably. Now here's the sad truth. That million dollars might not be enough anymore. Of course, it's all about your personal situation, but things like where you live matter a lot. If you're in a big city with high costs, say New York for example, your money won't go as far. Then there are other factors, your regular expenses, the kind of lifestyle you're dreaming of for your retirement, your age and health costs. Plus, if you're helping out family or friends financially, that's another thing to consider. The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. While $1 million used to be seen as enough for a secure retirement, things have changed. The cost of living keeps going up, so you might need more than you think. I'm Will, and I teach people about investing, personal finance, and money. I've walked the path you seek, and today I have several businesses and investments that provide me income every single month meaning I never have to work another day in my life. If you plan on becoming financially free, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video valuable. So, is $1 million enough to retire? Well, that depends on several key factors. Here are nine of them. The first factor is geography. Geography plays a huge role in how far your retirement funds will stretch. It's all about where you decide to settle down. The truth is, costs can vary wildly across the United States, but overall, right now, for the majority of places, $1 million isn't much. Big cities like New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles are known for their high cost of living. In these areas, everything from housing to groceries tends to be more expensive. So if you're dreaming of retiring in some bustling metropolis, that $1 million might not go as far as you'd hope you could find yourself stretching your budget to cover the basic costs of living. The next factor is longevity. It's about figuring out how long you might live. And this isn't just a wild guess. You can make a pretty good educated guess by looking at your health and family history. Now here's something to think about. If you're likely to live well into the 80s, 90s, or even beyond, $1 million might not cut it. To put this into perspective, let's look at some practical data. According to the Social Security Administration, about one out of every three 65-year-olds today will live past 90, and one out of seven will live past age 95. That's a lot of years to cover. If you retire at 65 and live into your 90s, that's 25 to 30 years of retirement. So if you're sitting on a $1 million nest egg and you live for 25 years after retiring, that's roughly $40,000 a year. But wait, this doesn't account for taxes and any potential investment growth. Also, if inflation continues at an average rate of about 2-3% to per year, the value of that money will decrease over time. Moving forward, the third factor is lifestyle choices. Lifestyle choices play a huge role in how far your retirement savings will stretch. It's all about the spending decisions you make once you've retired. If you opt for a more expensive lifestyle, naturally you'll need a bigger nest egg. Tyler Ozan, a certified financial planner and president of Ozan Financial Services in Dallas, puts it simply, how much you spend is a huge factor. Now some factors affecting your retirement funds might be out of your control, like health costs or inflation, but discretionary spending is totally within your grasp. This includes things like travel, entertainment, dining out, and hobbies. These are the areas where you have the most flexibility to cut back if needed. For example, if you're dreaming of globetrotting, frequent fine dining, or pursuing expensive hobbies, your $1 million could run out before you know it. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that like button so YouTube can show this video to more people that like this kind of stuff. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Okay, next we have... Healthcare. It is a major factor that can significantly impact your retirement savings. According to the 2023 Fidelity Retiree Healthcare Cost Estimate, an average 65 year old couple retiring this year can expect to spend around $315,000 on healthcare costs throughout their retirement. That's a substantial amount. Also, many people rely on Medicare during these retirement years. They hope it'll cover most of their medical expenses. However, it's crucial to understand that Medicare isn't a catch-all solution. 
Even with Medicare, there are out-of-pocket costs, and these can really add up over time. The fifth factor, long-term care. This is another critical aspect to consider in your retirement planning, and it's an expense that's often overlooked. The Fidelity Estimate, which projected around $315,000 for a couple's health care costs in retirement, doesn't include the costs of long-term care. This is where it gets pretty eye-opening. According to projections from the Genworth Cost of Care Survey, long-term care can be quite pricey. For instance, a private nursing home room could cost more than $115,000 a year. That's a significant amount and can quickly deplete retirement savings. It's important to note that Medicare, which many retirees rely on for their health expenses, doesn't cover long-term care. This leaves many seniors in a tough spot. If a couple doesn't have long-term care insurance and one of them needs to stay in a nursing home, the costs can be overwhelming. This situation could leave the surviving spouse with very few assets to cover the rest of their retirement. The next factor is retirement income. When it comes to retirement income, it's not all about savings. Most people won't rely solely on their saved funds. Let's consider the spending habits of retirees. In 2022, the average annual expenditure for those age 65 and older was around $57,818, according to government data. Now, if you're an average spender, you might not need a massive amount in savings, especially if you have Social Security and perhaps a pension income. But what if you don't have a pension? There's a strategy for that. You could consider purchasing an annuity. An annuity can replicate pension payments, providing a steady income stream during your retirement years. This can significantly reduce the pressure on your savings, allowing your retirement fund to stretch further. But again, without these, $1 million might not be enough to retire. Now, if you know me, you know I love reading books. And that's why I've shared my top book recommendations in the description box below. These could really help you when it comes to retiring comfortably, so if you're interested, please check them out. Now let's talk about the seventh factor, which is asset mix. How you save that $1 million can greatly influence how long it lasts in retirement. Now here is an important point. You can't have $1 million in cash and expect that to get you through retirement. Ideally, your savings should be invested in a way that counters inflation and continues to grow. For instance, having $1 million invested in a diversified portfolio is quite different from having $800,000 tied up in home equity and only $200,000 in a portfolio. Real estate is not as liquid as other investments, and owning property comes with its own set of costs, which can offset its value. It's important to have your money invested in income-producing assets that also increase in income so you could potentially sell your main residence, rent a home, and actually buy some investment properties. The next key factor is investment risk. Now, how much money is enough for retirement depends upon how you have it invested. Investing too aggressively can expose your money to significant losses, especially problematic if the market takes a downturn during your retirement years. On the other hand, being overly conservative with your investments can also be a problem. If your savings don't grow sufficiently, they might not keep up with inflation and the withdrawals you need to make. The goal is to find a sweet spot where your investments are growing enough to offset inflation and support your withdrawals without putting your nest egg at too high a risk. This often means having a well-diversified portfolio that balances stocks, bonds, and other assets, tailored to your specific risk tolerance and retirement timeline. What sort of investments have you made to secure your retirement? Let me know down in the comments section below. Finally, the last factor to consider is inflation. Inflation is a big factor for retirees to consider. In recent years, there's been a noticeable increase in inflation rates, impacting the cost of many products and services. This rise in prices can significantly affect your retirement savings. When inflation rates go up, the purchasing power of your money goes down. This means that what $1 million can buy today will likely be less than what it can buy in the future. For retirees, this is particularly concerning because it means they might need to spend more of their savings to maintain the same standard of living. 
Taking into account all these factors, it becomes clear that there's no one-size-fits-all rule for retirement savings. It's a complex puzzle with many pieces. Geography, longevity, lifestyle, health care, long-term care, retirement income, asset mix, investment risk, and inflation. Each of these play a significant role in determining how much you'll actually need for a comfortable retirement. While some people might find that less than $1 million is sufficient for their retirement needs, others will undoubtedly need significantly more, especially considering the varied cost and personal circumstances. If you're serious about planning for your retirement, then I would highly recommend you watch this video next on 5 Things You Need to Know About Money Before Retirement.